Hello my lovelies. So, I thought it was time to have another serious talk because of something that's recently happened that's sort of been weighing on my mind all day since, well, kind of since I woke up to the whole situation. Now this isn't to start controversy or bullying or anything like that, but I just feel like it needs to be addressed. And the thing that needs to be addressed is Songbird ASMR. And as many of you know, I used to be a huge supporter of Crystal and her husband, Charles. More so Crystal than Charles because I just didn't know Charles, but I, I got to know Crystal a little more. Um, just through her ASMR and Crystal's um, other channel, her um, Songbird, Songbird's Eating Show. I just kind of got to know her, Charles, a little bit about Evan, her papa, and stuff like that. But I want to make this a two-parter because I just don't feel like it can all be addressed in one part. And what I want to start with is how did I become a fan and why did I become a fan of Songbird ASMR? So, this started about two years ago, but it actually didn't start with Songbird. It started with a channel known as Jane ASMR. So, those of you who know who Jane is, she's an ASMR artist who basically does sweets, macarons, ice cream, cakes, cookies, stuff like that. They're all very beautiful, um, high quality desserts. I found her about two years ago and I fell in love with her channel. She's like a half-faced channel where, you know, it's just like from here down. And um, all of her food just looked really uh, beautiful. And, uh, you know, I've mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again. Years and years and years ago, I had an eating disorder, but it's not something I really talk about because why? I mean, what's the point? I now have hypothyroidism, so it doesn't matter anyway. But getting back to the point, while I was watching Jane, I kind of got bored of the same old sweets, cakes, cookies, desserts. I wanted something different. I wanted something, you know, besides, I was already watching somebody else who did that, and that's Honey Bee ASMR, and I still watch her. She's a beautiful person. She has high-quality foods. She does beautiful um, ASMR videos and her food is just amazing if you don't know who she is you should check it out Honey Bee ASMR she is amazing um, her name is Naomi and her husband I can't remember his name but they are beautiful people and they have just beautiful personalities but anyway getting back to the topic so while I was watching Jane I noticed that there was this ASMR artist Songbird and she was commenting on every um, video, which I thought was amazing until I found out that kind of everybody does that, except for the really, really big ones like Zach Choi, Zach Choi and people like that. Um, it's kind of the smaller ASMR artists, I like guess smaller ASMR artists. So I got interested and I was like, wow, okay. So she seems super nice and really friendly. And I started watching her videos and I was like, wow, she really has a variety. Now, I'll admit, now that looking back, it was a lot of fast food, but I hadn't seen anybody do that. It was all cakey, um, uh, cakeys, really? Cakeys? Cookies, I'm sorry. My brain's a little tired. Cookies, cakes, macarons, candy, um, just sugary, sweets, chocolate, stuff like that. So, the fact that she was doing, like, chicken french fries, hot dogs, tater tots, um, noodles, but she was so clean about it. She wasn't like some people we know. I'm not going to name any names because I said we're not going to bully. So anyway, but you know some people just like all over their face and you know, clothes and you know they're just like slopping it in. You know who I'm talking about. And if you're into that thing, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to judge. But anyway, I fell in love, like, immediately with her personality and the food and just the aesthetics of it all. And then I found out that she had, like, kind of a uh, 
songbird eating channel where she talked and ate and she had her husband on there and sometimes her son and I was like whoa wow this is interesting you know ASMR and just a normal eating channel I was like this is something I want to get into I want to see so I started watching her and I was you know hooked I liked her personality I liked her aesthetics and plus her fan base was really positive everybody was super friendly and just giving out positive vibes and I was immediately hooked and I was like I could get into this this is something I could be a part of I love spreading positivity and this is awesome so you know that's kind of where it started and I messaged her and I said something along the lines of new subscriber love your video I, I don't remember all was you know in it but something like along the lines of hey I'm subscribing to you and I love your content can't wait to see what you're coming up with next and she responded and I can't remember the whole thing it was kind of like hey welcome to the channel you know hope you enjoy I don't remember exactly it's it's been a while something along the lines of welcome to the channel hope you enjoy you know and I was like wow she responds she hearts comments this was back over a year ago. You have to realize, over a year ago. So I was like, wow, everybody's positive. She hearts everything. She's friendly. You know, what is this? And so I started watching all of her videos. And I started going back into the past videos and, you know, keeping up with all her current videos. And then I realized she lived in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, for those of you who don't know, my family and I sometimes vacation in the mountains in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We live in Idaho. We go to Tennessee once in a while. I have family in Alabama. So the fact that she was from Alabama, where I have family, and that she lives in Tennessee was really exciting to me because I was like, oh my gosh, I go right to Gatlinburg. I know kind of the general idea, you know, where she lives. You know, we've been to Pigeon Forge. We know all these areas. We just haven't been. I'm like, wow, Memphis. So, like, immediately I start thinking of, like, maybe she can meet up with me and, you know, collaborate. This is, you know, what was going through my head. I was like, she's so friendly. And we did start talking. And... You know, I didn't mention it, but, you know, with lockdown and everything, that would be nearly impossible right now. So, that's basically how things started. I didn't want to make this a long, long, long video. As you all know, shit's kind of hit the fan with her. I had been saying for the past couple of days, something's not right, something's not right, something's not right. Um, I had been saying on Instagram, something's not right. Um, unfortunately... I was right something's not right I just didn't realize how right I was and that's not to say oh I don't like her I hate her no 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 that's just to say I had this feeling that something was off and you know I've been getting this feeling for the past couple of days and I know there was drama behind all of you know this before this even came up with this, you know, what just happened today, being exposed and stuff, there was drama already lurking in the waters. But I pretty much stayed out of that unless I did defend her. You know, I don't stand for bullying. I was bullied when I grew up. So, no, I don't make fun of her for her looks or her teeth or the way she talks or the way she chews her food or... The way her and her husband look at each other, no, I'm sorry, I don't stoop to that level. So if you expect that from me in the next coming months, I'm sorry, you need to just not, because I don't do that. I know what it's like to be made fun of for things you can't help, like your eye color and the, your teeth and how you talk and how short I am, like I couldn't help that, and my skin color and my hair color and my eye shape, I mean, I got made fun of for all of it, all of it. 
like D, all of the above. And so I know how bad it can hurt somebody, and I'm not going to stoop to your level bully. Those of you who want to bully and make fun of her and make content that's making fun of her, if you want to come and talk facts, I'll talk facts. But if you want to talk about her chin or her hair or making jokes about her locking Evan and Chuck in a basement, you're coming to the wrong place. Um, but I did just want to touch base with how I became a birdie and why I started following Crystal and Chuck. What was the basis? Well, I was going through at the time, I was just looking for a friend, I guess. And I was lonely, particularly at that moment. And I tell you what, I always say on here, my online friend, my online bestie is Lily Jean. But I tell you what, she ran a close second in my mind because she was just so, to me, down to earth and relatable at that time over a year ago. So close to a year and a half ago. So... You know, that's where I was coming from at that time. I was looking for somebody relatable who I could kind of, well, I mean, for lack of better words, and I feel like I've been saying this over and over again, like I said, I'm tired. I could relate to. And then I found her. And I was like, wow, she beat an eating disorder. That's hard. E eating disorders are so deadly. And it's a constant struggle. And I thought her story was inspirational at the time. My involvement, what little bit there was, with Songbird or Crystal was my own doing. And ignoring red flags is a flaw of mine. But I don't think... Her chin shape or her nose shape or her teeth shape or anything like that was a red flag. That's just something, you know, I know people are going to say, oh, she was racist. She's homophobic. I have my say about that, my belief about that, which I'm going to touch in the part two coming up. This was just to touch base on how I became a fan of Songbird ASMR. And why. And my frame of thought during the time. And I can't express how just utterly disappointed I am with the whole situation. I don't even, I don't think words can express. I don't think I can find the words. And do I hate her? No, 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 no. I don't hate on anybody. Do I hope she finds the help she needs to fix her life and to become a better parent so that she can be better towards Evan and to become a better wife? Sorry. So that she can be a better wife to Chuck? And do I hope that Chuck becomes a better person? Yes, of course. That's what I hope for everyone. Do I... Am I upset and angry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm even hurt. So, I'm just going to tell you right now. If you're coming on here to make fun of me or anything, I'm going to delete you. But if you're actually offering words of wisdom and condolence, we can talk. We can talk all day long. I can care. It doesn't bother me. But... I have to say, I am truly hurt by what has happened, and I'm sure more will come out. You know, it it always does in these situations, and I will be here to see what's going on, and to listen, and, um, you know, and to put my thoughts in, not that they're worth much, but, you know, my thoughts and feelings, and if you want to hear what I have to say about 
how I feel. I am here and you know where to find me. So anyway, I'm going to stop right here because I'm just dragging it on anyway. But you do know how I feel now about the situation. And I'll touch a little more on that later in a part two. But I love you all and I will talk to you later. Good night.